good morning. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. What do you say we get things started? So, you guys hear anything good on the radio lately? I'm a huge fan of your show. Quiet, numbskulls. I'm broadcasting. Welcome in to Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton. Radio people are the coolest. That's just good radio. We're mass communicating, all right? Let's do this. It's showtime. Good morning. This is Talk of the Town with Henry Hinton on Talk 96.3 and 103.7. This very special edition of the uh, No Bra Day edition of Talk of the Town continues here at 5 After 8. Welcome to the program. Back in the radio ranch this morning. Going to be uh, Great Harvest Bread on uh, Friday morning. ECU Athletic Director John Gilbert will join us live at Great Harvest Bread as we kick off a big football weekend in Greenville. And uh, also Perrin Jones will come on to respond to some of Brian Farkas's lies and his ads that we saw this morning. <laughs> I just kid, uh, you know, the new the new Farkas ad that uh, just uh, tells one lie after another about my friend Perrin Jones is it's hard when you have friends, you know, and you see them, it's especially a guy like Perrin, uh, who's just such a good person. And you've got an ad out now, uh, of Brian. The the Democrats are going negative. It's clear that they've seen some polling they don't like, and they're going negative because they feel like that's the way they gotta they gotta go now to win. Didn't used to have this kind of thing at the local level, but we do. Same thing with Chris Humphrey. Chris, a big negative ad coming out against Chris Humphrey this morning. Today's the 13th of October with crunch time, and so you know they look at the polling and go, the consultants go, okay. They tell the candidate, okay, look, let me tell you, you're gonna lose if you don't go negative. Is that, is that the conversation you had with your left coast uh, consultant, Brian? He said, you got to do it. You know, I know everybody loves Perrin Jones. He's a great guy, but you got to go negative on him. If you don't, you're going to lose. That's what happens about this time of the campaign. So they re have released this, this, this ad, this television ad on, Brian, on, uh, on, on, on um, Perrin Jones that's just full of lies. Do you know who Chris Humphrey's opponent is? I, you know, I've heard the name. I, I don't really exactly. I don't. I don't think anyone does. I mean, I know her name because I've had to <coughs> try to contact trying to get her. The, but trying to get the left wingers to vote for, her, saying Chris Humphrey's a bad guy. You know, I mean, it's just it's just the, it's the Democrat playbook, man. Medicaid expansion, teacher pay. Medicaid expansion, teacher pay. Teacher pay, Medicaid expansion. They're a broken record. I guess because those things poll the best when they go out and ask people, "What do you care about? What would make you vote for a Democrat?" I guess that's what I guess that's what it is. It's pretty sad. Um, I mentioned we'll have the debate uh, between uh, Roy Cooper and um, and Dan Forrest live tomorrow night. It will be on uh, uh, television stations locally. Um, I'm looking to see which ones will carry it live. Uh, Channel 12 is going to carry it live. WCTI. Looks like that's the only um, local TV station carrying this live. Huh. Interesting. The WITN and WNCT have chosen not to carry it live. They may stream it or something. I mean, you would think they would at least put it on there like one of their sideband channels like my TV and me TV and that kind of stuff. But don't do not disrupt my Andy Griffith viewing, please. <laughs> um yeah, I'm looking at it here. The only TV station I see in this market, WRL's carrying it in Raleigh. The only TV station I see carrying it tomorrow night in this market is Channel 12, WCTI. And, of course, they're carrying it because I'm sure because of Wes, because Wes Goforth, yeah. uh, the um, longtime anchorman from Channel 12, WCTI, in Newbern, is going to be the moderator of this debate. Congratulations, Wes. That's impressive, right? Yeah, sure is. He's the lone moderator for this debate tomorrow night. I mean, they could have chosen an anchor person from uh, Charlotte or Raleigh or uh, Greensboro. They chose Wes Goforth. Mm -hmm. Well, good for you, Wes. He's going to be the anchor. He's going to be the moderator tomorrow night for the statewide debate. This is a debate that uh, the North Carolina Association of Broadcasters is doing, and um, I am on the board. We've been working on this, although I have to say I did not know uh, that um, that he was going to be part of this. So I'm glad to hear that for Wes. 23 years with WCTI. Long career. Uh, I'm getting uh, I'm, I'm getting some some bad information. <laughs> so it's not Wes Goforth. 
It, what's that? <laughs> no, it is. Okay, okay. All right, so, yeah, I, I, I actually uh, – I had actually scheduled the interview with Senator Tillis on Thursday. And uh, – <laughs> I sent his press guy a note and said, hey, uh, uh, Senator Tillis didn't know about the interview this morning. I didn't throw you under the bus. And he just sent me back a note and said, you said Thursday. I went, oh, you're right, I did. <laughs> I had a Biden moment. <sighs> hey, let's get into this. Uh, let's get into this story about uh, SEAL Team 6. Uh, this is, uh, is this going to be a nothing burger or is this going to be a big story? This was on uh, – it was reported last night on Fox News. The um, uh, Tucker Carlson had it last night. But there's a guy who is claiming to be a former whistleblower, a, a former CIA agent, who has become a whistleblower, who has exposed Biden in his alleged role with the deaths of SEAL Team Six, and he claims to have documented proof. So um, Alan Harrow Parrott was interviewed by Charles Woods and Nicholas No, who is the father of one of the dead members of SEAL Team 6. The three talk about the blackmail extortion of $152 billion United States dollars that were sent to Iran to cover up the deaths of SEAL Team 6 by Ob Obama and Biden. Parrott has extensive experience with the intelligence community, and he is planning on releasing documents this week on what he said are going to uncover numerous crime sprees. The, uh, this guy, now I will say I've watched the interview, I've watched the video, and uh, this guy seems very credible. This guy, Parrott, seems very credible. Although I will say that he, he looks like he may have gotten a little wacky in his retirement he's got a beard all the way down to his stomach and he's wearing like some sort of a white turban which is really weird but but you know when you hear him talk he's obviously very intelligent i tell you what michael let me send this to you see if you can play some of this i originally wasn't going to do this but i think we have time michael pull this uh pull this audio off of this uh this video that i'm sending you right here and play this if you would. Is Michael paying attention to me? You are? He gave you the nod. He's, he's, in not, he's not yep. looking at Just me, so he's, he nodded his head. He had the back of his he head. the head. <laughs> so we'll get back to that in a second. But um, after Michael pulls that, that audio, it's really worth hearing, to be honest with you. Now, um, there's a story on Breitbart this morning about how left-wing radicals are planning to disrupt the government and their game plan to do it if the election is close on November 3rd. This organization of radical left-wing activists is posting online a guide to disruption that uh, outlines a plan to shut down the country and the government and force Donald Trump from power in the event that the 2020 election is too close to call. This is frightening stuff. If you don't think that all these riots are an organized effort on the part of Antifa and people on the left, listen to this. They have posted this on their social media sites. In the context of a coup or a highly contested election, we need to be clear that our actions must directly affect the structures and pillars of power. Are you listening to this? Our largest asset in this regard utilizes the ideas of noncompliance through massive, broad-based, direct action. Where we can, we need to be in the streets, on the highways, at the sites of power and power holders. In our jobs and lives, we must refuse to allow those taking control the legitimacy of power that they seek through strikes, slowdowns, boycotts, public refusal to accept the illegitimate ruling party. So basically so basically what he's saying here, or this group is saying, is that, um, you know, if Donald Trump wins, they're pl planning to 
pull out all the stops, and this includes riots. Now you got to, you know, here's the here's the code word in there. We have to be in the streets, on the highways, and at the sites of power and power holders. They're talking about riots here, folks. In order to really win, we will need some pillars of power, businesses, military, media, other major institutions to decide to side with the people or at least get out of our way. If everyday life goes on, a despot will not leave power. Is that the way you pronounce that? Despot? D-E-S-P-O-T? Depot? Despot? Yeah. Will so not, not leave power, and so there will be no incentive for real system change. You want to think about what it might taught. You might want to start thinking about what it will take to stop business as usual. This is this is their plan. This is an organized effort, and they're organizing now. If Donald Trump wins, we're going to riot. We're going to try to stop business as usual in this country. We're going to attack the pillars of power. We're going to be on the streets and the highways. Man, this is scary stuff. It's concerning scary that stuff. America has come to this now with, with this election. That even we're not even there yet, and that we were talking post-election matters such as this. It's frightening. All right, now let's go back to the CIA whistleblower. You got that audio ready, Michael? Here's the interview that he did with the brother and the father of one of the dead members of SEAL Team 6 where he claims that the Obama-Biden administration actually sent over $150 billion to Iran to cover up the deaths of SEAL Team 6. And uh, this guy, again, Parrot, is, um, his, his name is uh, Hal, ha, uh, Alan Harrow Parrot. He was a high-ranking member in the CIA when all this took place. He says he has the documents, he has the video, he has the audio. Is this guy a crackpot? He doesn't sound like it. Listen to this. And you would think he'd know not to lie about something so obvious. He said it was a Muslim burial at sea. Nonsense. And uh, so this big lie uh, that, you, you see, they, they, Biden, Hillary, and Clinton worked this agreement with Iran. They trusted Iran to move bin Laden to Pakistan. He did. He was there. But then they trusted Iran to keep him there. He, they moved him out back to Iran. And then uh, the communication from Iran to Obama was, hey, uh, we got your neck in a noose. Give us, a, give us all this money, $152 billion, $2 billion on an airplane pallet, which paid out for the secrets I wish to reveal now and to the president under the terms of misprision and treason. That is to say, this is a secret. These are secrets worth $152 billion paid by President Obama. And Vice President Biden paid with the blood of SEAL Team 6 when he had them killed. So it's blackmail and extortion then. Blackmail and extortion. Now, do Iran you have the, commandeered. Do you have the documents to prove uh, to yes. this. Yes. Now, if, Iran, yes, sir. Well, I was going to ask you if you have those documents, are you willing to personally deliver those to President Trump if he were to provide the transportation and the guarantee of safety for you to do that? Well, I'm not concerned about safety. There's always an invisible hand that protects us, and we're on the winning team. America's on the winning team. Not one sparrow falls to the ground outside of God's will. Yes. Yes. Uh, I, it would be my pleasure and my honor to bring this material to President Trump. There's a massive amount, terabytes, documents, video, audio. I it will needs to go to the president. I, I yes, will sir. do everything that I can to get this video. Okay, so there's the uh, there's the, the what was posted online from uh, the CIA whistleblower Alan Harrow Parrot. He's being interviewed by Charles Woods, who is the father of Tyrone Woods, who was killed in Benghazi, saying that Obama and Biden sent 
uh, Iran 152 billion dollars as a cover up for the deaths of SEAL Team Six. And uh, Allen says he has the proof. He says he has documents. He has actual video and audio, and he's going to deliver it to Donald Trump. This is crazy stuff, isn't it? It is. Really wild. Uh, I suspect we'll hear more about this unless this guy gets discredited somehow. Because I will say, you know, he looks a little bit like Merlin the Magician. <laughs> He's got the long white beard, and he's got the white turban on. Uh, but, you know, he sounds credible and sounds intelligent, right? I mean, he, he just may have gotten a little eccentric in his retirement. Perhaps. But he says he's got the goods on, uh, on Obama and Biden on this thing. We'll see. All right, 21 minutes after 8 o'clock. Let's take a break. We're coming back. Tuesday Talk of the Town. More after this. Greenville Toyota wants you to get out and drive. We'll get you out of your old car so you can drive a Corolla 149, RAV4, 219. Plus, get out of maintenance fees and drive with the Greenville Advantage at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. We are a team. We are a unit. We are a family. No, literally. We are a suburban family of football fans. That's our neighbor. Hi, Bob. And that's the inflatable screen we forgot to properly secure. Pepsi, made for football. Watch it. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752 8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. My name is Dr. Neeti Armistead, Chief Medical Officer for Vidant Health. The following simple steps will help keep you and your community safe. Stay home as much as possible, wear a mask when out in public, avoid large gatherings, practice social distancing, and wash hands often. It's also important not to delay needed care. Vidant has taken important steps to provide you and your family with a safe environment. Learn more about COVID-19 and Vidant's response. Call 252-847-8000 or visit vidanthealth.com slash COVID-19. Mom, I'm so bored. The most music for your workday with Mark, Mark, and Laura, Beth McCall, and Dylan McKay. The most music for your workday plays here. Get out and drive at Greenville Toyota. We'll get you out of your trade with up to thousands more than it's worth. We need trades now more than ever, and we'll pay you more for your trade than you ever thought possible. It's time to get out and drive at Greenville Toyota. We're back to talk of the town. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Are we on? <laughs> as long as Henry can figure out to work all this equipment. Okay, I can't move in here. On Talk 96.3 and 103.7. Okay, we've heard from WNCT. They will carry the, uh, the governor's debate tomorrow night on channel 9.2. <clears throat> I don't know what that is on cable, do you? I do not. Is that the CW? So uh, 9.2 tomorrow night over the air on channel 9. Uh, thanks, Dutch, for letting us know about that. Um, ready for some news headlines? I'm ready. Let's do that. We got Carlton hanging on the phone from uh, Rocky Mount. Let's get to him first. Carlton, good morning. How are you? Morning, Henry. How you doing, man? Yes, sir. How are you, sir? Good program. Good program. You let us know along. The, the statement you made a while ago about these people, I don't know if it's Antifa or who that crap is, bunch of idiots. 
is that they were going to get out in the street and all that if the election went for Trump. Yeah. Another, another thing when you were talking like that, I looked on this side because I know a lot of people are kind of weary and scared about COVID-19, but I'm looking at this thing is how many people now are going to hear what he said inside his head, man? I'm not going to go vote Trump because I'm scared enough as it is, and they're going to do this if he gets in on it. People need to wise up and stand up and quit just cowing to everybody that opens their mouth about what they're going to do. Yeah, you know, you might be right. Maybe it's just an effort to try to um, suppress the vote. I don't right. think. I mean, it I, may not know, be. I, I don't. I mean, you think it'll keep people from voting? I wouldn't. It wouldn't. You know, it'd make me want to go vote more. <laughs> well, I, I would think so to get these people out of this condition they're in and let them know, hey, you ain't going to run this country. But the point is, though, is a lot of people, when they hear this fear mongling, mention that they're at a certain age in life that they figure, who's going to look after us? And, uh, and, and I see that in some people sometimes. Yeah. I don't know why. I just, but it you, is you just wonder, though, when you hear about coming. these left wing radicals. Yeah, and yeah. they and and they're 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 trying to organize, you know, going into the streets, into the highways, and right. challenging pillars of power and things like that. If the election doesn't go the way they want to, <clears throat> you, you have to wonder who is behind this. You know, we yes. keep hearing we keep hearing George Soros, but you almost have to wonder if it's somebody you know from another foreign government. I mean, yep. is it is this Putin's plan? Is it Putin? Is it Putin funding these idiots? Right, could it, be. You know, where, where 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 are these people getting their power from? Is it just right a on. bunch of dope smokers who uh, got nothing better to do and don't have a job, and so this is what they spend their time doing? I mean, who, where are these people coming from? Who are they? I don't see them in my everyday life, you know. But then they right, seem to right. come out after dark when they want to do this stuff. I, I you know I, I remember seeing some of the video. When the rioters were in downtown Raleigh, and uh, there was a Channel Five reporter out there, and this this uh, this kid comes up behind her, and just starts screaming at her that she's part of the problem and this and that and all that. And I was thinking to myself, now what does what is his life like during the day? Does he have right. a job? Does he go to college? No. What is, you know who is who is pushing this kid to do these things? His mom and dad is money. His mom and dad is money. I, I don't. I don't know. I mean, this kid didn't look like a kid that came from, um, uh, a, you know, a, a position of uh, wealth. I can tell you that. Uh, you know, some yeah. of them. Some of them do. Some of them are just, you know, uh, uh, lazy bum kids that are. You know, their parents have uh, coddled them their whole lives and turned them into snowflakes. Right. And right. they've and and you know they've got a. Um, they, they they've just they, they, social media has. Uh, influence them to be a radical and this is the way to be the radical i mean you think about it if back in like in 19 okay so let's go back to 1968 if you're a college kid and you want to be a protester and you want to be an anti-establishment type of person you know you put on uh, you put on some crosby stills and nash you put on some buffalo springfield and you went out and smoked a joint and then you went out yeah. on the uh you went out and did the anti-Vietnam rallies. That's what that right was. On. But that we didn't have uh, social media back then organizing right. all this stuff. And so, you know, you, you got to think that at some point somebody in some foreign government thinks, hey, this is the way to really uh, take the United States down from being the superpower that it's always been. <clears throat> these, kid, the these kids want to be anti-establishment. So let's fund yep. them. Let's come up with this Antifa idea. Let's have them start burning down courthouses and things like that. I mean, you, you got to think that that's happening, but why can't we get to the the, the root of it and, and end it? it, just, it but well, you, social you media is ruining the country. It's just yeah. ruining the country. Yeah, you think it, the FBI broke this thing about they will kill this um, government, I think it was? Uh, nobody heard nothing about that and all what they call these six guys. Yeah. Okay, what gets me is how did they know how to do that and they can't do nothing about these people in the streets? Yeah. Yeah, so they're able to they're able to find these guys that are uh these six guys that are trying to uh kidnap uh uh Rachel Whitmer, the uh is it Rachel? What's her the name? The Michigan governor. Yeah, what's her first name? It's not it's um Gretchen. Gretchen Whitmer. Yeah, 
the uh, yeah. the, the, the see, mayor. That's what of, I'm talking about. The, the, the mighty and the power, they're going to have their protection. They gonna, they got their protection. But people that don't, they ain't in the mighty and power, where's their protection coming from? Yeah. All right, Carl. Thanks for that call over in Rocky Mount uh, this morning. Good to hear from you. Thank you, Henry. Bye-bye. 830. Let's check news headlines. Uh, this morning, our news update is, is brought to you by our friends at Advantage Therapy Solutions. And here's McGee with the news. All right, thanks, Henry. A driver and passenger are in the hospital after a high-speed chase on Interstate 95 in Nash County. The chase and crash occurred around midnight on I-95 near West Mount Drive. State troopers chased a car going the wrong way on the highway believed to be traveling as fast as 100 miles per hour. The driver, 28-year-old Patrick Brewer, was believed to be uh, believed to have a warrant out for his arrest. He eventually crashed into a tree and was taken to Nash UNC Healthcare. Charges will be announced at a later time. Governor Roy Cooper and Lieutenant Governor Dan Forrest will square off tomorrow night in their one and only debate before the November 3rd general election. You can hear it right here live on 103.7 and 96.3. It will be hosted by the North Carolina Broadcasters Association. The event is scheduled to begin at 7 o'clock, 12 hours before early in-person voting gets underway in North Carolina. Let's go for it. And West go will moderate that event, former WCTI <coughs> news anchor. This year's early voting period that starts on Thursday will be the longest in North Carolina history, 17 days. According to the State Board of Elections, early voting precincts will be set up in all of the state's 100 counties. New voters will be allowed to register on site at those precincts and completed absentee ballots can also be dropped off at those locations. Parents in North Carolina have until Thursday to apply for a $335 state coronavirus relief grant. It will allow families with qualifying children to use the money to help defray the cost of at-home virtual instruction and child care during the COVID-19 pandemic. Once requested, the $335 will be sent automatically to those who fled, fled who filed their 2019 state income tax returns. And the Donald, Pres Donald Trump presidential uh, re-election campaign has reportedly pulled some $17 million in radio and TV ads from Iowa, New Hampshire, and, o and Ohio, and redirected those funds to states like Florida, Georgia, Arizona, and North Carolina, all considered battleground states for the upcoming election. Henry? That's good news. We hadn't gotten any of it yet, but it's we'll a lot take it if it comes. A lot of money. All right, check the weather for your Tuesday. Clouds giving way to sun by, like, late morning. The sun should be out, and it's going to be nice. A little overcast to start the day, though. Temperature's going to get up into the low 80s, maybe about 81 for a high, and overnight low tonight, uh, 52 degrees. On Wednesday, mainly sunny with high temperatures around 75, and overnight lows in the 50s. And Thursday, when President Trump will be in Greenville, abundant sunshine looks perfect. It's going to be a beautiful fall day, around uh, 80 degrees when the president lands at uh, Pitt Greenville Airport on Thursday for his 1 o'clock rally, overnight lows in the 60s. And then on Friday, a uh, little front comes in, and uh, Friday looks like we might get a, uh, a possible thunderstorm in the afternoon, highs in the 70s. Saturday game day for the Pirates, sunshine. Temperature's going to be about 64 degrees at kickoff. Going to be a good day. No chance of rain Saturday or Sunday. Temperature in the, in the mid to high 60s. Good weekend. 64, going to be a little fog out there, <coughs> low-lying areas this morning, so be careful. News and weather, a service of Advantage Therapy Solutions. My friend Kelly Brown here in Greenville, she's got the light therapy going on, and if you have not tried it yet, you need to understand that light therapy is a very effective treatment for pain reduction, arthritis, even depression and anxiety. Light therapy has been used clinically for more than 50 years to protect and recover neurons in the brain. And now we know even more about how these uh, specific wealthy, uh, healthy wavelengths of light reduce inflammation in your brain, allowing more clarity and increased focus. <coughs> so if you're experiencing a, short of, a shorter attention span, less patience, increased anxiety, headaches, fatigue, call my friend Kelly at uh, Advantage Therapy Solutions, make an appointment, and your first treatment will be free. They'll do a, um, a, a light therapy treatment, a laser light therapy. So don't neglect it. Come see how much better you can feel after just a few sessions. You can visit them online, AdvantageTherapySolutions.com. They get great reviews. Uh, the testimonials on this are unbelievable. People are getting a lot of great results from this laser light therapy here in Greenville at Advantage Therapy Solutions. If you've got uh, arthritis, you really ought to try it. Call them today for a free consultation, 252-689-8729. That's 689-8729.
or you can find them online to learn more at Advantage Therapy Solutions. Dot com. 835, more on the way. Stay with us. Tuesday Talk of the Town. It's no bra day. I know I left mine at home this morning. We'll be right back. Greenville Toyota wants you to get out and drive. We'll get you out of your old car so you can drive a Corolla 149, RAV4, 219. Plus, get out of maintenance fees and drive with the Greenville Advantage at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money. Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752 8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. music for your workday with Mark, Mark, and Laura, Beth McCall, and Dylan McKay. The most music for your workday plays here. My name is Dr. Neeti Armistead, Chief Medical Officer for Vident Health. The following simple steps will help keep you and your community safe. Stay home as much as possible, wear a mask when out in public, avoid large gatherings, practice social distancing, and wash hands often. It's also important not to delay needed care. Vident has taken important steps to provide you and your family with a safe environment. Learn more about COVID-19 and Vident's response. Call 252-847-8000 or visit VidentHealth.com slash COVID-19. All right, football watchers, let's do this. It's time for the opening click off. Click on, click off. Click on, click off. Come on, Sarah, just a little bit more thumb. Now it's time for leg extenders. One, two, three, relax. And now for the second half sip off. Lift, pull, open, drink. What if you have to go shopping on game day? Shopping on game day? Get out and drive at Greenville Toyota. We'll get you out of your trade with up to thousands more than it's worth. We need trades now more than ever, and we'll pay you more for your trade than you ever thought possible. It's time to get out and drive at Greenville Toyota. All right, uh, it's time for the Pirate Report, uh, and so we're going to sing the fight song this morning. McGee says he's learned it. Yep. I found this great video on YouTube here. So McGee, you, if you miss one word, I'm going to hit you. Okay. East Carolina. Cheer for OEC. We know we're the finest. Onward to victory. Go Pirates. Cheer for East Carolina. Cheer for OEC. Loyal and bold, we're the purple and gold. We are the Pirates of ECU. Hey, go East. Go East. Go East. Go East. Go East. Go ECU. Hey, you did good, McGee. Thank you. You did good. You. you did good. I studied last night for the first that, time in a long time. That video is online. If you don't know the uh, ECU fight song, you need to go online and learn it. Everyone should know. Even you Wolfpack fans <laughs> should know. Hear that, honey? <laughs> He's speaking to you. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. All right. Derek uh, from WITN has said, uh, we are carrying the gubernatorial debate. On WITN tomorrow night. Th 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 it wasn't on the press release, uh, Derek. I'm sorry. It says they're moving uh, Wheel of Fortune and Jeopardy to um, my TV. Andy Griffith is safe. That a boy. Thank goodness for that. So the gubernatorial Woo. debate will air on uh, WITN, WCTI, and WNCT 9.2 on one of their sideband channels. 
So um, we will have that for you here on 96.3 and 103.7 tomorrow night as well. And uh, you'll be able to hear it on the radio, but apparently WITN's carrying it as well. When they sent the press release out, WITN was not on it. And, of course, I'm excited because uh, Wes Goforth is the uh, moderator tomorrow night. 20 minutes in front of 9. I'm getting a lot of questions about the Trump rally uh, at the Pitt Greenville Airport. I just don't have any information. I And I've asked for it. I mean, I sent uh, numerous emails yesterday asking different things, uh, and no one is responding to me. I tell you, they do so many rallies. They've probably got two more before they get to Greenville on uh, Thursday. They do so many of these that they don't really focus on Greenville until like the day before the day before that. So maybe tomorrow we'll get some answers. Or maybe later today. I do not have much information. I'm, I have been told that there's potentially going to be a shuttle that you will not have to drive out to the airport. I do not know that. But I can here's information I can give you that I'm sure of. There are no VIP tickets. There is no backstage reception like there was the last time, and I don't have any way to help you get in. <laughs> so I got some good friends that are at, and if I could, I would help you. I have no way to help you get in. You've got to go to that website and get your own tickets. Yeah, he'll be in Wisconsin today, then Iowa later today, Minnesota after that, so all these, Arizona before he comes to Greenville. This is a much different this is a much different uh, deal than when he came here last year to Menji's Coliseum. Um, you know, we were meeting with uh, some of his uh, uh, folks literally weeks in advance, maybe a month in advance. We were meeting with, and, and of course, the guy that kind of ran the show for that was our buddy Louis DeJoy, who is now the, uh, the Postmaster General of the United States. Louis came to Greenville several times. And we met several times and put together a backstage reception for uh, <coughs> President Trump and uh, Mike Pence. And, and I remember some of the uh, Trump kids were here. Uh, Governor McCrory came with us. It was a really neat event backstage in the Murphy Center before Trump did. But nothing like this this time that I'm aware of. And I've asked and I'd, there's just, there's no, there, I don't think there's going to be any opportunity to kind of do a one-on-one -on -one meet with the president like we had last time. 842. 18 in front of nine. Here is our pirate report. Trip McGee, what you got? All right, East Carolina welcomes Navy to Greenville on Saturday for a 12 noon kickoff. The middies and pirates will meet on the gridiron for the eighth time overall and the fourth time as American Athletic Conference foes. On the Mike Houston Radio Show Monday night, um, Houston said Navy's experienced offensive line will be a challenge for the Pirates. Three seniors and two juniors on the offensive line, senior quarterback. You may see them play multiple quarterbacks. They've played several throughout the, the first four games. But, you know, really when you see three seniors and two juniors up front, upperclassmen, fullbacks, senior quarterback, you know you're going to be challenged. ECU and Navy will again will meet at 12 noon. The midshipmen lead the all-time series six games to one. Monday night football, the Saints kicked a field goal in overtime to hold off the Chargers 30-27 to in New Orleans. At one time, the Chargers led this game 20-3. Coming up tonight, the Bills and Titans will play their Week 5 game in Nashville, so there will be NFL football uh, coming your way tonight. Baseball from Monday, the Rays are halfway to a World Series berth after beating the Astros 4-2 in Game 2 of the American League Championship Series in San Diego. Over in the NLCS, Braves beat the Dodgers 5-1 to to take a one-game lead uh, in that series, which is taking place in Arlington. And I um, wanted to mention, too, that uh, Joe Morgan um, with the Cincinnati Reds passed away at the age of 77. He was a big part of the Big Red Machines, two World uh, Series championships back in the 70s. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. That is our um, Pirate Report brought to you this hour by the Greenville Marine Outdoor Shop just outside of Greenville on Marine Drive. Whether you need hunting, fishing, or boating accessories, clothing, or other supplies, make Greenville Marine Outdoor Shop your one-stop <coughs> destination. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's get a break, and we're coming back. We've got our laugh track coming up. A lot of good baseball last night. Yes, yes. Braves uh, beating the Dodgers in the first game of the NLCS. And uh, I, I, I watched that till I fell asleep. I couldn't get into the football game on the ESPN, so I watched uh, the baseball game. Good pitchers duel last night. Braves won it 5-1. to one. So our laugh track this morning is about baseball and arguing with the umpire. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be back. 
Top Dog Academy is Eastern North Carolina's complete dog training facility. Top Dog provides an excellent environment for dogs of all ages with training services and work week daycare. Top Dog is located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bells Fork, and features a comfortable, healthy environment and a spacious facility for daycare and a brand new, beautiful facility for training. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. My name is Dr. Neeti Armistead, Chief Medical Officer for Vident Health. The following simple steps will help keep you and your community safe. Stay home as much as possible, wear a mask when out in public, avoid large gatherings, practice social distancing, and wash hands often. It's also important not to delay needed care. Vident has taken important steps to provide you and your family with a safe environment. Learn more about COVID-19 and Vident's response. Call 252-847-8000 or visit videnthealthcom slash COVID-19. Mom, I'm so bored. The most music for your workday with Mark, Mark, and Laura, Beth McCall, and Dylan McKay. The most music for your workday plays here. she was up for adoption she was dead set on no i need to just be realistic about my life and what my future holds that's when she came to me and she said would you be interested in us adopting you i didn't think that i would have a family again i didn't think that i would go to college i didn't think that i would have love and with that i just feel like my world is just so much brighter We are a team. We are a unit. We are a family. No, literally. We are a suburban family of football fans. That's our neighbor. Hi, Bob. And that's the inflatable screen we forgot to properly secure. Pepsi, made for football. Watch it. Now, for most of us, this lusty and raucous celebration means one thing above all else. Gathering with rowdy friends to convivially overindulge in that nectar of the gods. It must be time to get back to Talk of the Town with Henry Hitton on Talk 96.3 at 103.7. All right, welcome back. Uh, Talk of the Town. Um, Michael Savage is, um, I think it's tonight he's going to have Donald Trump on. He, You know, he, uh, Trump did uh, Russia's show. Heard some of that of course, last we week. Carry, we carry uh, Michael Savage uh, later in the evenings here on these stations. But here's the interesting thing. Uh, Michael Savage is leaving the uh, his his radio show at the end of the year. He announced uh, last week that, um, and, and, you know, I can tell you that Michael Savage um, has always been kind of a renegade, anti-corporate, uh, difficult to deal with. <laughs> I've talked to, uh, I remember when he was uh, on Talk Radio Network years ago, um, I got to be friends with the president of Talk Radio Network, and... Um, Sa he Savage, he had Savage and Laura Ingram at the time, and they were both difficult to deal. <laughs> they were both difficult to deal with, and so uh, uh, you were. It's it's interesting that he's now leaving the Savage Nation radio show at the end of the year. He's uh, he put on uh, Facebook earlier this week that the reason that he's leaving 
talk radio is that there are too many Chris Wallace types who have taken over radio, and they only permit, permit vanilla. So he's going to go to a podcast. So I guess he said some things that the network has not wanted him to say. And um, so he's leaving Westwood One, uh, the radio network, and he's just going to podcast. I remember, I, I have to tell this story about uh, Michael Savage years ago. I, I told you that I got to know the president of Talk Radio Network. and I. <laughs> so we were, we were putting together a talk fest years ago, and we were trying to get Michael Savage to come to Greenville. You know, we were successful in getting Clark Howard and um, Laura Ingram here. I think I remember here. some of this, yeah. Yeah, we, so we had Laura Ingram. She did her national radio show yeah. out of the Greenville Convention Center. Very successful event. Clark Howard, great. Clark, great. Clark was great. He was fantastic to work with. Laura was awful. <laughs> <laughs> I love Laura. With all due respect. I still talk to Laura, or well, we text occasionally now, but she was she was something, man. She's She's got... She's got her own way of doing things, and it don't get in her way. And she, you know, she she'll give you the stank eye. So I got the stank eye that whole. You trip. don't want to get that. But we did have some fun too. We went out to dinner and uh, got to know her. And her, but I'll never forget what her uh, producer said. I was taking her producer back to Raleigh the day after the show, and I said, "How do you work with us? She like this all the time." He said, "Every day, right before I enter the building, I have to pray." <laughs> and he says, "It's like." Going into the um, building, it's like going into a Category 5 hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what to expect. <laughs> so I imagine Michael uh, Savage is the same way, but he is going to have uh, Trump on tonight, I think. <coughs> the uh, hearings are about to start on Capitol Hill. The, um, the Judiciary Committee will meet. We had Tom Tillis on earlier this morning, if you missed that. Missed that. Uh, Senator Tillis is back in Washington now, and um, and he says that uh, he's feeling great, and his doctors have released him to be out amongst the people. So he's going to be. Yesterday he was he was on video for the first day of the uh, uh, Amy Coney Barrett hearings. Today he's going to be live in the uh, committee meeting room there on Capitol Hill, and uh, his doctors have released him to be there. And so you know, there's going to be questions about court packing. And they're going to, you know, th as I mentioned earlier this morning, I think the Democrats are going to be careful not to beat up this classy woman, turn f female voters against uh, Biden. But on Monday night, it's interesting. This whole idea of, of uh, Biden and Harris will not answer the question, will you pack the court, will you pack the Supreme Court if you get elected, if the Democrats take over the Senate and you win the presidency. So during Monday nights, uh, the, the moment when um, Don Lemon hands off his show to Chris Cuomo on CNN, you know, the little handoff thing, mm -hmm. right at the time, I think it, right at 9 o'clock, right? Doesn't Cuomo come on at 9? And uh, so uh, Cuomo has been criticizing Biden and Harris for not answering the question, will you pack the court? So, so uh, Don Lemon says to Chris Cuomo Monday night on CNN, it's not a legitimate question. And that during the debate, the vice president raised the question. The moderator didn't raise the question. This is hypothetical. Joe Biden has said twice, at least on tape that I've seen, how he feels about court packing. I just think it's a distraction from the Republicans and the president. Cuomo says, then, then why doesn't he just answer it? And Lemon says, because he doesn't have to. Cuomo says, well, he doesn't have to answer anything. You, you don't think it's going to affect people's trust potion? But, but let me ask you a question. Didn't Chris Wallace ask that question also? I believe he did. So Don Lemon's full did. of caca. No, she was addressed by the moderator in the VP debate, but I think Chris Wallace did. Without a doubt. Uh, all right, don't forget, uh, our live show's coming up. We're going to be at Great Harvest Bread Company this Friday morning, and uh, the athletic director of ECU, John Gilbert, is going to be with us. And then a week from Friday, we are going to be live in Washington on the Washington waterfront, and uh, 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 Commissioner of Agriculture Steve Troxler is going to be our special guest. And we want to thank all of our sponsors in Beaufort County who stepped up. The Washington Yacht and Country Club stepped up yesterday. Waco Community Credit Union, Crisp RV Center, Park Boat. Thank you, Austin. H&R Block, 
Thank you, uh, Representative Kidwell. Mattress by appointment, Sloan Insurance, thanks to the Sloan Brothers. Beaufort Equipment Company, Gerard Seed Company, and Riverside Grain, Paul Funeral Home, Nutrient Aurora, thank you, Ray McKeithen, Precision Eye Care, First Bank, Gen Seafood, Washington Harbor District Alliance. Going to talk to Meg Howdy on uh, the 23rd. The Rich Company, thank you, Tom Atkinson. Pizza Inn, thank you to the Pizza Inn folks, in, including our e IBX Media alumni, Chris, uh, Christine Cashwell, who's now over working with those folks. Uh, Ryan Whitford's Allstate Agencies, Washington Beaufort County Chamber of Commerce. Thank you, Catherine. Iconic Marine Group, Fountain Power Boats, and Flatlands Jessup Insurance coming up a week from Friday in Washington. Be there with us. All right, let's do the laugh track. This is uh, Brian Regan this morning. Every game you'll see a player argue with an umpire, and I've never seen an umpire change his mind ever. <laughs> so why would you waste your time? Has that ever worked? You ever see a guy sliding into home? You're out! You're crazy, man! He missed the tag! I, I had my hand... Okay, okay, safe! <laughs> ah, I don't like conflict. I tend, I tend to shy away from that. <laughs> Go ahead, give him a run. No, it's okay. I didn't know about the yelling. It's okay, give it to him. Baseball has interesting traditions. Why do baseball coaches wear uniforms? Imagine a hockey coach on the sidelines <laughs> wearing full goalie gear. <laughs> Give it your all, fellas. Who's the guy in the goalie mask? So why is it normal in baseball? They look silly, especially the ones who have put on a few pounds, sitting in the dugout, pinstripes this far apart. <laughs> Looks like somebody made a jailbreak out of his torso. <laughs> I think I might pinch run today. I'll just sit here and eat Funyuns. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Regan. Everybody have a great Tuesday. See you tomorrow. Get out and drive at Greenville Toyota. We'll get you out of your trade with up to thousands more than it's worth. We need trades now more than ever, and we'll pay you more for your trade than you ever thought possible. It's time to get out and drive at Greenville Toyota. Top Dog Academy provides training services and daycare for dog owners in and around Greenville. The Top Dog facility located on Highway 43 South, just four miles from Bellsport, is a comfortable, healthy environment where dog owners can feel secure about leaving their pets. Top Dog Academy teaches people how to have a better relationship with their dog. Call 752-8215 or visit topdogonline.com. Come on out Highway 43 South to Top Dog Academy, where we know dogs. My name is Dr. Neeti Armistead, Chief Medical Officer for Vidant Health. The following simple steps will help keep you and your community safe. Stay home as much as possible, wear a mask when out in public, avoid large gatherings, practice social distancing, and wash hands often. It's also important not to delay needed care. Vidant has taken important steps to provide you and your family with a safe environment. Learn more about COVID-19 and Vidant's response. Call 252-847-8000 or visit vidanthealth.com slash COVID-19. Here. Your gift of an animal from Heifer International can help a family start a small business, creating food and income for education, medicine, and more. All while caring for the earth, around the world, and right here at home. Heifer International. Learn more at heifer.org. This is a radiated tortoise. Because of the support from Asia, I'm able to put these endangered tortoises back into the wild. When I was younger, watching scuba divers conserve these magnificent creatures, I wanted to be a part of that. I work in Hawaii with critically endangered forest birds. Birds are so interesting to me because they're living dinosaurs. I love working with them. I know I always want to work with kids, and I fell in love with the animals and conservation side. It's exactly where I'm supposed to be. Won't you join us? 
Greenville Toyota wants you to get out and drive. We'll get you out of your old car so you can drive a Corolla 149, RAV4s, 219. Plus, get out of maintenance fees and drive with the Greenville Advantage at Greenville Toyota, where our volume saves you money.